Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our EU4 Basilius into the Roman Empire campaign in EU4. Hope you're all having a good day. Thanks for the support so far. You guys are great, and I appreciate all the love for the campaign that's been going on so far. We are going to take a few months and let our war exhaustion tick down. Looks like we're going to get those rebels more than likely before I want to. Let's go ahead and get you guys over here to uh, Napoli. Hopefully they don't pop in the next like two months. That would be annoying. Mill power or prestige. Prestige sounds good. <clears throat> if they pop right now, they're going to kill my guys. So yeah, it's a 20k stack. Damn, dude, it's a lot of men. Okay, um, go ahead and get some mercs over there. Let's go ahead and just turn these forts all off. I'll keep that one just in case they are to lose it, you know, if they lose the battle. Obviously, I don't want to uh, have them get stack wiped and then have a free fort to sit on. Also, we can sally out the fort, which is nice. Go. Go ahead and pop whenever you guys want. Sons of bitches. Tunis, I'll kill you. I'll kill you, Tunis. I will kill you. Come on, baby. Um. So they have no allies anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Stemding. What about like a trade war? Humiliate rival. Who to Vendigar is their capital? Mm. What is this war for? Is that a conquest of? Yeah, it's a conquest of this one. So. It would probably be best to just wait a few months and see if, you know, what their sort of resolution of that war is. Come on now. <clears throat> all these douchers raiding all my lands. Ah, I hate Tunis. Can't stand up. Breaking up all my prosperity, ruining my country. When these rebels pop, they're going to ruin more. <laughs> there we go. Oh, let's pause that. Let's go ahead and take the stab. And let's go ahead and sally forth or sally out or whatever it's called. Where's the... Uh... Oh, can you only do it if it's a siege? Oh, that may actually be the case. That was so bogus, man. Holy shite. Okay. Well, we are going to speed five it now and recover a bit of manpower over the next year or two, and then we're going to go to war with Kebab. So they do have some men up here. They have a lot of men up here, actually. Interesting. So that's good. That might mean that we can expect them to get stack wiped over here. So we just need to keep an eye on this, this guy right here. Okay, looks like we are fighting. There we go. Let's go ahead and take that money. Pay off some debt. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Next month we can turn that fort off. Very good. Let's go ahead and turn that fort off. Letting our war exhaustion tick down a bit. Here we go. That's what I want to see. Oh, that's good stuff. As soon as they get low, I mean, realistically, I could attack them right now. Probably should, huh? We have them militarily beat. Let's go ahead and turn my maintenance back up. They don't have any truces with anybody over here. Alright, Mamluks have been declared on, declared on, so it's time for us to dogpile on. Oh my gosh, it's a Regency Council. Our Basili- Basili- oh, so annoying, man. When will this end? 40, 70, man. Unfortunate. I guess it's fine, it gives us an excuse to speed five through some, some rough times and kind of recover. Recover the economy, let it catch back up with what's going on, so. I guess it could be worse. Let's go ahead and build up some spy network over here. Should 
probably integrate these guys soon. Eh, I guess they do have a bit of money. They raided Napoli, so let's turn that fort back on. All right, Iberian wedding has happened. So now if I want to take Naples, I have to fight Castile as well. Feels badman. Also, go ahead and put you guys over there. I have a huge navy. Like I'm paying a decent amount of money just for being over my force limit. It's probably worth it, but I don't think I need 21. Do I? These back up to total forces. Oh, that's kind of bummer. So, navy-wise, we have the most galleys in the world. Venice has 16, so we probably should at least maintain dominance of that, so... Probably well, should. No, I'm not even going to state it. I raised the autonomy, so until it ticks down to at least 75, there's no point. Oh yeah, these guys are, you guys are weenies. You are weenies. You know what? Here's what I think about you. You, um, you suck and I hate you. How's tech looking over here? Very good. When is this Regency Council over? April of 70. Oh yes, free mill points. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. Let's see here. Renaissance is here. We should be able to embrace it for pretty cheap at this point. 150. It's okay. Let's go ahead and um, do a couple of these clicks. They can be disloyal. It's fine. I would like a little bit more clergy influence. Let's go ahead and give them... Let's go ahead and give them Athens. There we go. Free admin points is good admin points. As far as I'm concerned, get a couple more mill points. Don't need them, but I'll take them. And then... <clears throat> Beautiful. And then let's go with religious ideas. That's the first one for sure, because that'll give us a really good CB eventually on basically every single person around us in the entire world. So, Orthodox countries, um, Deus Volt is a super, super, super good CB to take early on. Yeah, this is what you guys get for not declaring war with me when I wanted to. Oh my goodness gracious. A few more months as well. Not even going to be anything else for me to take by the time this is all said and done. Gonna be full annexed or full occupied. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, get our armies up and moving. Okay. The knights in Austria have pieced out, so they returned some cores. It looks like the Ottomans are completely out of Bulgaria. Well, I could totally do this one right now. Uh, admin points for Patriarch Authority or Prestige? Thrace gets... Local Unrest. I mean, I'm not going to have anything in Thrace anyways. Uh, I think I value the admin points more right now. <clears throat> Turks driven from the Eastern Balkans. Cool. Free admin points. I didn't even do anything. Or free... Points, I guess. Okay, so here is that guy coming up right about... There we go. Good stuff. Let's declare our war. Let's go ahead and go for uh, Coachelli. Since it's a fort. Let's go ahead and start moseying on over. Does he have a navy? He does not. So I can just mothball these guys, and I will. Lockie can hate me. They are already rivaled to me, so I don't care. Go ahead and get you guys over here. Matter of fact, I will just knock all half. Am I hitting the wrong button? H, there we go. Get you guys over here. Should be able to kill his... Oh, wait. Oh, we got that fort. We're good. Stack wipe? No stack wipe. 
sad times. But it's fine. Alright, good stuff. Auto Man getting siege down. Always it feels good. So, we're gonna take literally everything we can, you know, within reason, something that's not gonna trigger a coalition on us. Wow. That's really all we can take. Must be a lot of uh, a lot of dev up there. It'll give us basically a you know complete control over the trade node, which is super nice. Once we take both of these two, we'll be good to go. They're sieging down Ankara, so there's no point in going over there. Probably should make my way over here. There we go. Just don't want Mamluks to get any more sieges. Oh, shoot. Um... 11th of February, and your your siege will be done 12 days, so yeah, it's not going to happen. Give me a break. I'm going to lose that calf. Uh, no, I'm not. Psych, I say. Psych! Uh, those guys might actually be in trouble. Let's leave, like... Oh, those are Merc Cav. I did not realize I had Merc Cav. Let's also get a general over there. Let's go with, like, you. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose that. Feels so annoying. That is the worst. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's just go ahead and have you guys immediately go march over here. You guys attached to that mercenary cavalry I have for one reason or another. Good thing it's not a show superiority war, huh? Let's go ahead and go up to speed five. <clears throat> Auto man can kiss my bum bum. I'm gonna siege him down. Empire runs on paper and we lose a stab. Feels good, man. Screw you guys. Go ahead and get our free... Free, um... Conversion dude, which isn't gonna do anything because we don't have any. Mer uh, missionary, yes. I know the word. I know I do. They're literally like the same stats. How funny is that? There we go. Put you guys down here. Stack wipe their navy. Feels good. Go ahead and come on down here. They're gonna get eaten by the... Beautiful. It's good stuff. Alright, we can probably piece them out now for whatever we're looking for. A little bit of money. There we go. Okay, good stuff. We cannot core up all this, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we don't even have any Turkish states, so Ottomans have gone bankrupt. Very good. Uh, Nicomedia reclaimed. Nicomedia, or Izmit, as the Turks called it, was a key Byzantine center city on the Asia Minor coast for over a thousand years before finally being lost to the invading Turkish forces in 1337. Its return puts us in an ideal position to expand back into Asia Minor once more. So, rename Scocelli, gives us some diplo power and um, prestige. Sounds good. There we go. Good stuff. Let's also get rid of that freaking dude. I don't know. Like, I don't even want to think about how much money I was spending on that thing. Let's go ahead and get you guys all turned off. Keep that one turned on for the uh, escalate complaint. Burgers gain loyalty. Sounds good to me. Grab some heavy ships. Probably shouldn't. Let's go ahead and uh, suppress rebels over here. What's our war exhaustion looking like? Yeah, we're going to have rebels. There's nothing I can do about it. So let's just go ahead and turn the army off for now then. Or we'll turn it low. Try to pay off some debt if I can. I think I only have... I have two loans, unfortunate. 
plutocratic coup, huh? No, it's fine. I giveth and I taketh away. They can be mad, I don't care. I don't care. Like Ricky Gervais in the uh, Golden Globe speech. I don't care. I don't. <laughs> legend. What an absolute legend. Telling a bunch of Hollywood celebrities to shut their pie holes because nobody cares about what they have to say. Poetic. It's poetic. All right, disputed succession, Savoy, Castile, Ormond, Breton. Breton? So an, a week 222 or uh, not a week 222. Sounds good. Tech cost too. What a absolute stud of an emperor. Watch him die at like 15. Morocco's gone hunting. I mean, not hunting. Gone hunting. Gone bankrupt, I should say. Let's go ahead and repay that loan. Those Ottoman separatists are gonna fire eventually, so I'm just, you know, waiting it out. Being ahead on tech will certainly be good for us. Gonna give us a bit of extra income as well. But who will collect the tax, he says. We should totally, totally, totally be doing this as well. I will sell... Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. I want to get an advisor that's going to at least hopefully try to pay for himself. I should have switched over to admin focus quite a while ago, but it's okay. Okay, rebels on the way. Rebels incoming. I'm not even going to have them... put down rebels, because, or suppress, because they're going to just fire anyways and kill a bunch of my men so I might as well just let them fire maybe even let them come to me and try to fight them in the woods or something 18k it's pretty good just with Naples is over there we go fight them in the woods is this the highest dev 15 oh it is I didn't even realize it the Knights are at war Wow do I go to war with Venice again? I totally could. I have claims on this. I think it only makes sense, right? Let's go ahead and turn these on. What in the world is going on here? Okay. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get you guys unmothballed. Hello. Hello. There we go. Let's get you guys grouped up. Ottomans are no longer a valid rival. Well, that is quite the quite the thing. Let's go ahead and rival. Poland would probably be a good one. He doesn't have the Commonwealth. He's allied to Lithuania and Mecklenburg. Hmm, what about Wallachia? Tunis, Pope Man. Let's go with Pope Man. I can go to war with Pope Man easily, easily enough. Okay, so. We want these guys to be repaired. We're going to war with the, uh, with the knights here. Cyprus would join, unfortunately, but that's fine. Don't care about Cyprus. Venice is the one that I'm thinking about, but I still am not that concerned about them either. They can come down and try to siege Napoli, but, you know, I don't care. It's fine. Free admin points is always good. Okay. That's plenty. Let's go ahead and uh, declare war on these guys. Oh, okay, so it would just be me in Venice. Let's go with Sugla, because it's a fort. Go ahead and poke you guys out here. Poke you guys over here. Poke you guys. Okay, no, never mind. Here we go, they're probably gonna blockade that straight because they're annoying. Somehow I sent the wrong ships. No, we're good. For some reason, my ships just didn't go out. Let's go ahead and get that repair tick. Good. There go. Yeah, that a boy, Bulgaria. Do my bidding for me. Beautiful. Look at that. 
Stole a galley. Good times. So this is just uh, something like this. There we go. That's beautiful. Just need to be careful. I think I saw his army up here. Running around. There they are. Yes. Die to rebels. Do it. Die to rebels. Ha ha ha. You deserve that. Let's see if we can sink their navy. Just massacre their navy. Oh, so good. I love it. Love it. Let's get you guys over here. Have you guys just, you know, come up there. It's fine. Um... The sooner I get manpower, the better. These ideas are not all that great. They're kind of like spread out and very like... The tolerance of the true faith is nice. Basically it means that when you convert stuff, you're not going to be able to really get a whole lot of rebels. So maybe we should just try to rush through religious ideas. These guys also don't have a general on them, so... Maybe it would be best to do a boat bomb of sorts. Let's just go ahead and give that a try. It's only 10 though. Feeling, I'm feeling confident. I feel confident. Let's go ahead and make sure we have a... No. Not worth. We will boat bomb them though. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and get them on Venetia, Venezia. This guy over here can just handle all the sieges over there for me. I don't care. He's cool, man. Just do your thing. Okay. This is gonna... Probably, I could probably piece Venice out right now if I wanted to. Once, as soon as he gets on the capital. Let's see here. Nope. He wants me to siege him down. Okay. See you later. Now he just, you know, he's wasting my time. Did he just go down and get an instant wall breach? That's interesting. Must he probably, does, we don't even have cannons there, there though. Nutty. Hmm. Oh, man, looks are going to attack these dudes down there. And we lost the Siege of Napoli in about a month and a half, so <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. That is my galley now. All right, Venice, absolute turd. Let's go ahead and get you guys over there. Ideally, we get there before they take that. There we go. Beautiful. Get those extra couple of points there. Get that large PP. Beautiful. Let's just get you guys over there. Time to siege down Rhodes. We're gonna full annex him probably. I really don't feel like handling getting raided anymore. Getting raided is just the most like frustrating thing because there's nothing you can do about it. There's no counterplay other than pirating. Like spending your naval forces just to pirate or to prevent pirating. It's like, give me a break, man. So we lost a couple of our lights by the looks of it. Probably for the best. We had way too much. There we go. Now we just speed five it and wait. And I have to siege him down on that level 3 fort, unfortunately. Free stab, free manpower. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good stuff all around. And, uh, okay. Siege a strong aristocrat. 454. Four. Not bad. Not bad. Wait. Really? What are you talking about? 11? Cultural manpower. That's kind of interesting. Burger loyalty or nobility loyalty. Burgers pay the bills, so... I guess I can, you know, give them... I can state this up. And give this to the uh, nobility. So I'll just do that. Keep them loyal, or at least somewhat loyal. This is legit nuts. How are they so... How do you need so many manpower just to siege that down? Seems a little, a little overkill. 
Let's go ahead. We're gonna do this. We're fine. There we go. So this is the truce we're going for. Ottomans are bankrupt again. Nutty. Speaking of that, I probably don't need this alliance, but I would like to ally the Mamluks. That'd probably be good for me. Or at least like QQ is a good one as well. Let's go ahead and see if we can make friends in our area. Let's go ahead and go with the... Do we go Golden Era? I'll wait. No, let's just do it. Let's just do it. There's no reason not to. No reason not to. All power cost is just so strong. Let's go ahead and turn that down a little bit. Beautiful. Now we just wait. While the knights siege down Napoli. Or they already did. But look at that. Dude's got 11 force limit. Get him. Why are you just letting them siege you down, you dude? Come on, man. Don't be a weenie, Bulgaria. Stand your ground. There we go. Full annexed. Feels good. Get those rebels out of there, though. There we go. Gems are outrageous. There we go. Gems are in uh, Constantinople now. Go. Beautiful. Rebel uprising in just over here in general, so. Plague! Now we just wait. Who will collect the tax? Any stuff over here? We're good, we're good, we're good. I'll keep that one there for a bit. There we go. Hopefully our finances sort themselves out sooner or later. Mary Bulgaria, that's fine with me. Brandenburg's got an old leader. I would like to marry you. Friedrich II. Marry me, good sir. Okay couple months and we'll be up on Miltech as well. There we go. So we are actually capped out on Mill as well. So pretty good. I think that was actually the limber, correct? It was. Okay. So let's go ahead and no, we can't give that to the burger. Certainly not. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and state this and accept Turkish. As much as it pains me to do. I feel like it's just a smart work, smart move. Yeah, let's state all this up eventually. I know I'm literally spending admin points as I'm finishing up an admin group, but this is gonna pee it'll pay itself off much more in the long term. Neapolitan separatists, okay. kind of dumb. Why is there so much unrest over here, man? Like, honestly, tell me that it's because it's Catholic and that's it. That's nuts. War exhaustion. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have a choice. I'm gonna have to send my guys over there. We'll see. Shouldn't be fine. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody laid the claim. Austria, you warmonger! Muscovy is creating border gore. Austria is a warmonger, man. He's just looking for all those... All those PUs. He's fishing for PUs. There we go. Let's lose some more manpower. You know? Why not, right? Yeah, if I get, once I get this, we'll be able to... Um, We'll be able to um, convert some stuff, finally. Venice getting claims on me, because they do. Interesting, man. 
Venice. Good stuff. All right, let's start getting some stuff converted. Let's go ahead and do that one and nothing else because I don't really want to spend money on it. So that'll do it for this one. Hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget, show your support. Leave a like if you are enjoying the campaign. 150 a day and we'll keep it once a day. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking about the episode. If you have any suggestions or things I should you think I should be doing that I'm not doing or anything like that, I'm always excited to hear it. If you want to check out the Discord or support the channel via our Patreon, links are in the description down below. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yadaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damian Hartvig. You guys rock, I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.